Not a way to get a job with a power. When native tribes gather for powwow, it's like a family reunion and spiritual revival. A reminder of who they are as a people and an embrace of culture, language, and heritage. It's also an educational opportunity for the public, which is often invited, to see just how much the natural world is part of tribal identity today as it has been for centuries. It's all rooted, it's all together. And you see in our many of our regalia, you, you see leather, you see shells, you see things that are from the natural world are feathers. So it's it really shows up in, in every way of our life. As indigenous people, we are concerned about our environment. We see how Mother Earth is beginning to rebel. Uh, we're having more floods, more droughts, more fires. And that's a sign that we have abused our world. And if we don't take care of the world, where are we going? We will hear from three indigenous experts. When Native tribes gather to discuss policy, like they did at this annual sovereignty event, the environment is often the focal point. Indigenous environmental experts from all over the country spoke here in Virginia on the seriousness of what they deem a global crisis, as well as their unique ability as a people to lead the way to a healthier planet. Areas of, that, are, that were dry land where our ancestors um, are, are now underwater in many places. We know this because of our stories. Our stories tell of these changes. There appears to be a shift occurring throughout the country. Indigenous people who were cheated or forced away from their tribal lands during European colonization are now reacquiring some of what was lost. The Rappahannock, for example, announced in April the tribe had regained 465 acres at Bones Cliffs, ancestral homeland that is culturally and spiritually significant to the tribe. Soon, they plan to invite the public to visit and to learn. My dad used to take me um, hunting, he would call it. And I was just a young kid, probably nine or 10 years old. And he would say, well, let's, we're going hunting. And we'd go out in the woods and he would take the gun, never used it. And we would sit and just watch the show that nature would put on for us. And he would teach me to watch the animals because he said the animals had the wisdom of the ages and we could learn from them. It was federal recognition, federal monies, and partnerships with a host of conservation agencies and private interests that enabled the reclamation of the cliffs. The tribe is once again guardian to hundreds of species of plants and animals. Rather than owning the land, the indigenous way is less about ownership and more about mutual belonging. In the Western world, um, we're taught that everything is about, you know, human beings, I, 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 me, 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 and we relegate animals and plants and water and the sun, the elements, the trees. We relegate them to things when they really aren't, and we are really connected to all of them. We just don't know it because we've been taught differently. And so, you know, my goal is to teach the truth about who we are and how we interact and are connected to all those things for the sake of all humanity um, and for the survival of the planet. Thank you for watching. Continue to follow Virginia News and Stories by subscribing to our VPM YouTube channel.